I'm going to show you how to contour and highlight with the airbrush. We already have light golden beige, that's Ava's color, and what we're going to do is add a little drop of a lighter shade, which is vanilla, to it. So we're just going to go ahead and shake it up so you can mix up those pigments. Airbrush makeup always tends to settle at the bottom, that's normal. And then you'll hear those little balls, those are mixing balls, so that you know that the pigments are all mixed up. Go ahead and we're going to flip the cap, and just a few drops, we're going to add it. Turn on the compressor. So to mix the lighter shade with her current color, we're just gonna block off the airflow with the tissue and pull back on the lever very, very lightly. So it's actually gonna mix the colors together and you wanna leave it like a marble cake so that when it goes onto the skin, you have different dots of color. So we'll just spray into tissue, make sure we've got the color right. And where you wanna highlight is basically a lot of people, you know, and it depends on if you have something that you want to feature. You can always highlight whatever your favorite feature is. But starting here on the bridge of the nose is nice. Up above the eyebrows, that gives the eyes a nice lift, okay? So we're just going to add it to the top of the forehead. Just a light little mist. And again, this is the olive beige and vanilla. Now when I get around the hairline, I just want to make sure to use a clouded tissue. This is gonna block off any of the overspray going into the hair that we don't want. Again, highlight. Now if it's not light enough, I can always take the vanilla and add more. So we'll add a little bit more vanilla and we're going to back bubble that into the cup of the airbrush. Spray on a tissue and then maybe you can see a difference there on the camera. So again, we're gonna highlight just the top. Highlight the tops of the cheekbones. You can see right there. And we'll highlight the bridge of the nose. You can also highlight right here, which is the bow of your lips that tends to plump up this area. Your chin. Now, if you have a big nose like me, I wouldn't want to highlight necessarily my nose, right? But let's say if you wanted your nose to be fatter, you would actually highlight the outsides of your nose and then it would make it look like it's whiter. But if you want it to be thinner, then we're gonna contour the sides of the nose, which will make it look like it's indented a little bit. Now, any of the remainder makeup that's in here, you can actually use it anywhere. So I could spray it on your neck, onto your decollete, you know, you don't really want to waste your makeup. Anywhere else you want to highlight, even your collarbone. We're going out. Let's see your hands, because there's still some in here. We can go ahead and we can even spray the hands. A lot of times we don't think about the hands, but when you, if you're on a date or something and you're lifting up and you're eating your salad, then basically what's going to happen is your hands will be a different color. So we always want to match our hands to our the rest of our makeup. When you get around the knuckles, just bend those fingers. And get into the natural folds. And it also takes out any imperfections that you feel like you want to cover. So that's how you highlight. Anywhere that you want to feature or accent, just make sure and spray a little bit lighter color and you're just going to draw attention to those areas.